against your husband. I see a, I see a woman's breast. I see a woman putting her breast in your husband's mouth. Yes, your husband, madam. Eh? He's with another woman. He's with another woman. I see a woman forcing her breast into your husband's mouth. Yeah. And she said you will not enjoy the marriage. Should I remove the breast? Remove Make her remove her from the man's mouth. Yes. From the a woman! Not to. Where do they keep dead people? What do they call them? Watch one. The woman watch there. They say, make the give them. What do they call them? That's where they carry bath dead people. So, bet that person bring the water according to the instruction. And she got it. Are you listening to me? I saw where she pays her with the 5,000 naira to get the water. A man see pack at top and at here. They gave her the instruction. He said, carry the water, bet with it. When you bet with it, carry your breast, put for your mouth. You know, go ever test in white breast again. Where the man? He, said, he has been in Ghana. He just came back. With another woman. With another woman. He came back to get. Uh, eh? He went to Ghana and came back. Before, when he went to Ghana, he got Where back. is he? He's in Abuja. With who? With that woman. With another woman. Yes, Make I remove the breast from yes, him. Yes, 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 Do you want your own breast in his mouth? Yes, ma, yes, because the Lord has given me the key. I am a topata. Because I'm about to put the key in your hair. Uh -huh. And any woman sitting on your position, Fire. if they refuse to relinquish what belongs to you, they will die. Amen. Are you ready? Yes, Follow me. Come on, jump the sense together for Jesus. You. This is like cats. For there's witchcraft attack around you. You look healthy, but you are sick. Yes. You are healthy. You look healthy. As people, they look you so, but you are sick. Yes. Eh? Yes. You are very sick. You don't even understand your body. I see Mark. Anytime you wake up, you go see Mark. Yes. You wake up, you go see Mark for your body. Yes. Eh? That is a neighbor of yours that is a witch. And that neighbor of yours, Nadikines, for one church. Eh? Yeah. Sure. Now, dickiness for a church who are not going to mention in them. Yuri. Now, listen to me. There is a dickiness in your neighborhood that is a witch. When they suck blood, suck blood. Every time you wake up from sleep, you go see Mark for your body. And this thing has been happening for months now. And you have been sick in your body. Yes. Now, I want to tell you something. After telling you that thing, you go catch the cat red handed uh -huh. and when you catch the cat the first thing you go do now to break the hand break the leg in the morning go see say person not for stroke hand leg oh, I'm with you thank you Jesus I'm going to tell you what to do after service sweep the altar sweep the environment carry the sand from here eh? go sprinkle them around your compa then watch what's going to happen. I am waiting for your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to receive a call. And that is a call of appointment. And when you receive that call, the place where God is about to take you shall be triple. What, what I'm seeing is what you have paid before. They shall triple the salary. Amen. Amen. Good things don't last in your hand. But I'm going to slap your hand. I'm going to slap out slippery kind of miracle. Anytime miracle enters your hand, it goes stay. There is a spirit in your hand that does not absorb testimony or miracle. Because you always lose things. And you lost something recently. Yes. What did you lose? Job. You lost your job. Come on, celebrate Jesus. 
and it looks as if you are stranded. No! When one door closes, another opens. And what is about to open is three times better. Because I see where you are wearing long cap, white long cap, and an apron. Are you a chef? You are a chef. Yeah. You don't cook food. Are you just looking like that? Come on, celebrate Jesus. This thing it has to do with where people go and lodge. Go to lodge. Hotel. hotel. Yes. Wow. Okay. I see something bigger. This time around, not be hotel. Amen. Get ready. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Get ready. Get ready for what's about what is coming. It's coming huge. Amen. It's coming huge. Madam, pray against the spirit of accusation. That's what you are facing, accusation. Are you hearing me? You have been facing accusation. For how long will you continue like this? The Lord said, pray and fast against the spirit of accusation. That is a mark, invisible mark on your forehead that attracts accusation. Pray against it, okay? When you finish praying against it, carry water, put salt, a pinch of salt. Are you listening to me? Yes. And I'm going to give you a Bible verse you're going to read. And then you wash your face. You're going to do it seven times and that will be the end. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Are you a pastor? Huh? That a pastor? Who, 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 the person you served. There is an issue. Come, there is an embargo. Okay? The way you left, no good. The way, the way you, you left, I don't like it. The Lord says I should pray. And then you have to go and make things right. But that's by the way. Things are not working around you. You are facing hatred as a pastor and rejection. The Lord said, pray for him so he can be delivered. And another thing, I give you power so that you can go and do exploit. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. Take it! Take it! Take it! Open your hand. Stand up. Sit down. I see you here now, and I see somebody sitting on your head. Somebody sitting on your head. There is nothing you have not tried to succeed. You know the work. You have met people that can help you, but things are not working. Things are very tough. And you always face near success syndrome almost there but you are never there you are a very brilliant man but to achieve that be the problem where others go and achieve you go there you complain where others go and obtain you go there you complain because somebody is sitting on your head the lord has to pursue the person so you can be free yes, ma yes, ma look at you seated and the person sat on your head it's not a good thing the lord has to also pray for you against sickness Okay? Okay. Mm, sickness. And that sickness will come from the stomach. Between now and the next one month, I see where you began to feel ill. You went to the hospital and the doctor's report was not palatable. The Lord said, Tear that doctor's report. Yes, Lord. Amen. That negative report is yes, not Lord. your portion. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, listen to me. Go and buy me two bottles of water. Two, two, two. Fast. I want to do something. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. Prophecy with solution to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Oga, stand up. Your time has come. Amen. The affliction that walked in here with you shall not follow you back home. Amen. You that is shouting, Amen, you carry testimony. Amen. In the name of the prophetic, Liberia. Liberia. Come on, champ those things together for Jesus. Liberia. I see one left for Liberia. I see another left for Canada. Yeah. I live in, I born in Liberia, but I live in Canada. Canada. Yeah. So you came all the way from Canada to see me. Yeah. Your time is now. Amen. You will never go the same way you came. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. There was somebody who were sending money in the past. He were sending money to this person. 
And this person is very close to you. This person will complain of headache, you go send money. This person will complain of sickness, you go send money. This person was complaining of something, you will always send money to this person because you trusted this person. In the name of the prophet, there was a time this person asked you for money. As usual, you said you didn't have. And I saw we had a person did something with your picture and nailed your picture to a mud house. This mud house is very old. She nailed your picture to that mud house. Richie, 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 Richie. I'm Ricky Graham. The person carried your picture and knelt to that mud house and said, You will use your money. Say so you will have money, but you will not have good health. I'm sick. Yeah? I'm sick. You are sick. Ten years I have work. The person said, He will have money, but you're not going to get good health. How can you have money and not have good health? That money is useless. Money has failed at that point. Somebody said, Money shall not fail in my hand. Money shall, shall not fail in my hand. I saw the person where you don't have before. The person where they say money. The person where they feed you. Your good heart will not kill you. Amen. He carried this man, locked this man for mud house, for village. Jesus. He said, Remain in this touched house. Suffocate there. Die in sickness. Sir. Thank God you came because you are supposed to die in the month of August. You are supposed to die August 13th, 2024. Okay, I am here to break that door. And for, listen, listen. I am not going to break it, I'm going to demolish the mud house. Amen. And you shall come out now. Amen. To be delivered, lift up your hand. As I put my hand on you, I command you out. Come out. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pass the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, jump the sense together for Jesus. Check your body. You are free forever. Amen. You can never live your life on drugs again. Have you been here before? Eh? This is your first time. Yes. Your time is now. Amen. Open your hand. Lord said he has restored you. Amen. I see where you were sitting. Somebody removed you and sat there. Eh? Yes. That is your problem. You sat. Somebody removed you and sat on your position. The Lord said he has restored unto you the years the canker worm, the caterpillar, Amen. the papa worm have eaten Amen. from you. Your problem is a woman. In the realm of the prophetic, I see a woman and this woman, there was something like conviviality between you and this person long time ago. And I saw where this person felt disgruntled about you. If this person said, because you did this to me, you cannot prosper. So you need to pray because there is a woman holding you by the jugular that there is nothing you will do that can work. Even though you know a lot of people that can help you. Say, so no matter how hard you know people or how hard you try, you cannot succeed. But I am a woman. I am here to break that cause. Amen. Amen. Follow me. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. Madam, who the he sleepers for ground? Say, you know, go bump picking. Come. Come, 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 come. Somebody the he sleepers for ground. Say, this woman, no go bump picking. Oh, yeah, come, follow me fast. There is something huge coming your way. I see dry stick. Well, I call it stick, but dry. But I saw where you were irrigating. It's like farm, okay? And the the plants, well, I call it plants, but they look like stick, dry stick. So you are, you know what I mean by irrigation, right? Irrigation, right? So you are irrigating, you are irrigating the, the farm. Because they were like stick, okay, the dry sticks <laughs> began to develop leaves and they began to flourish. So there is something you have in your hand that is nascent. That is about to grow to something mega. Amen. 
is very innocent and you are still contemplating, will it work? Will it not work? Go ahead, continue doing what you're doing. Whether anybody asks you how far or you not ask you anything, continue. It will grow. Amen. And the whole world will know about it. Amen. Don't stop, don't drop it, don't quit. You think it's very innocent and it's, you're about to give up. No. Still hold on to it. I'm giving you one year. Yeah, that thing will blow for your hand. Amen. You pray for Rehab. 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 For your husband. Yeah, no. Eh? Don't cry. I want to pray for her. There are two things. Somebody carry three pictures and went to the shrine. Jesus. Three pictures. And waiting, I see where the person do now to tie these people so that they will be useless. So that because of them, so you're gonna cry every day. Because of these people, this, this I don't know whether they are your children, but I hear Luca, Luca, Lucas. Look, yes, yes, Who be the person? Now you're picking. I hear Pada, Pada, Pada. Yes. Now you're picking. I hear patience. Yes. Uh, Come on, celebrate Jesus in the house. I saw where somebody traveled. He got somewhere. Kele to Tika to Parata. I'm not going to mention the place. But the person went somewhere. He can't tie these children. He said, Your mama going to cry every day because of you. He said, Your mama go get high BP because of you people. He said, Because of you people. Say, Now this woman, this woman now go die quick because of her children. You know the blessings of the Lord make it rich, and He has no sorrow. Yes. You can they tie them, they tie them. He said, "This one can never be useful to you." And because of them, say you go get high BP. Say because of their character, you can never live long. Madam, go and lie down on the altar and mention your children's name. Go lie down there. Mention their name. Tell God to have mercy on you and restore your children. I am coming. I will tell you what to do. Come on, jump the sense together for Jesus. Oh God, come. Run to that place and come back fast. That was my time. But I said, make I just prophesied two cases. Stop here. Go back again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come back. Now listen. Land case. Okay, let me put it this way. Property. Any case that has to do with property will not take your life. No. Run again. Don't say so. Elach. Uh-huh. Now I go again. Now I go. Because I see something that has to do with issue. And that issue has to do with property. And the Lord says I should tell you. That property no go kill you. Amen. And that property no go take your life. Amen. Go outside. The way outside under sun. Carry sun. Your two hands. Shout. This case will not swallow me. You splash it. Because I see a case. And I see you wearing weak. You are yes, a lawyer. Yes, I am. You are a lawyer. Yes, I the Lord says should pray for you. Because I see a case. And this one not be normal case. The person will go spiritual. You, because you are a lawyer, you're going to do like this. I'm going to win you. I'm going to win you. Not be my, no, no. This one, when one go spiritual, I want to finish you. And the person carried your footprint. So carry his hand right now. And splash it and say, no, this case not going to take my life. Amen. Come on, jump those hands together for Jesus. Prophecy with solution. Madam, there is help coming your way. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Don't give up. Eh? Yes, mommy. They have laughed at your mother's children for too long. Yes, mommy. Yeah. Because in your family, there is this embargo placed on every member of your family. And that embargo has to do with struggle, labor, delay, yes, disappointment, mommy. and hatred. Yes, mommy. Hatred. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. The kind of hatred that they thought be so, somebody will meet you today and like you, tomorrow you will hate you. Yes, ma that is what I'm talking about. Yes, I see hatred from your head to toe. The spirit of hatred following you from your father's house. And I see where you are eating a dick icon. A funeral and disappointment. Where are you from, man? Come on, celebrate Jesus. This woman is eating a, a, a dick icon. An alfang. 
Now listen. Your mother's children, your life's characterized by delay, shame, and reproach. Now, because you came. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wherever your mother's children are, one by one, they shall be liberated. Amen. Amen. I am not saying this to make you happy. I am saying this to make you happen. to do for you, you basically that came because the miracle will begin from you. Amen. In the realm of the prophetic I see we are everybody stuck and trapped. Nobody is making headway. People are not getting married. How many children does your mother have? We are six. Hmm? Six. Six. How many girls? Two girls. How many boys? Four boys. But nothing is moving. Ah! Yes, no marriage. No nothing. Everybody on yes. one spot. Look at you trying to survive in Abuja. What is this in there frying, baking, frying and baking? What does I, it mean? I'm in a catering school. You are in a catering school? Yes. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. It looks as if there is no help. Don't worry. Because I see we are men come and go. They come and go. But I hear the Lord say to me, between the next one. Month. I see the waka. Because I see where they go, who said to? Yes, it's all said to. The place is who said to where they land it. I am Marco. Come Sapa. on, jump those hands together for Jesus. Look at this young lady. If they walk out, they go with set. They go with set. You know, no say person they follow. If they walk out. The person they see him as he they pass every day. In the realm of the prophet, you can see one day you enter the vehicle and stop somewhere. And this place is junction. As you stop for that junction, you can't enter Kada. Come, they go your house. Because you they enter moto, as you enter moto, you come to one junction. From that junction, you go enter bike. Come, they go your house. As you stop for the junction, immediately she one cross leg, one enter kada, then go blow horn. Pee, pee, pee. That was your first time, but you know not say the man don't trail you since. He come blow horn. Say pee, pee, pee. Say what is your name? Say I am happy. Yes, ma'am. My name is Happiness. Your name is Happiness. Come on, celebrate God in this house. He said, I am happy. He said, from there, he said, come and enter. You come, you come the fear. I see where you are scared. Because you are a very decent girl. Yeah. This girl come the fear. The man said, I understand. You come the full and for cutters. They ask they go the full and for back. If they drive, they follow. Or cutters, they drive, if they, if they follow until you know his house. Now he called the disturbing until you gave him a listening ear. From there, now so you put ring. From there, yeah. God did not deal because the testimony will begin from you. Amen. Immediately you entered here. Amen. Dun dun din dan du kragadia. Immediately you stop your legs here. The Lord said the embargo has been broken from your land. Left you one by one, all your mother's children shall be liberated. Amen. If I can hear the ladders, amen, your time is now. Amen. Madam, congratulations. After service, give me a bottle of oil. Let me seal it. Oh, God, do you drive? Yeah. You do drive motor? Yes, ma'am. Come. Take step one. Follow me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that, my husband. See. You see that clothes where we are? But I see that car close to this color. Close to this color. Red color. Eh? Yeah. Red eh? Red color. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Come. I see caskets. They were conveying caskets to a place around Adama. Why? Yeah, I'm from Adama State. Come and celebrate Jesus in this house. I see where they are conveying you to Adama. Why? And what's in there for the poster where they best for the casket? Frank. My name is Frank, man. I'm going to celebrate Jesus in the house. Can I prophesy to you? Prophesy, my mother. Your best picture shall not be used for obituary poster. Amen. This man, they don't they convey him, they go. They don't they convey him, they go at Damawa. And in the name of the prophetic, when they bring about the death, they say an accident. They say, he they drive. He they drive. And plunge into trailer. And this driving at night where this thing happened. 
This thing is about to happen. This thing is about to happen. Between now and the next seven days. This what I'm talking about is about to happen. And I see people gathered. I say, who are these people gathered? Come. And that has to do with something where they, they do like this. Somewhere they carry the snap. I don't know. Then they carry something, they snap. And they go project the thing. The thing go the view for screen. Like camera. Camera or something. Eh? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. Eh? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm, I'm doing DSTV solutions, CCTV cameras. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Accurate prophet. And people just they look the thing. Screen like this. And some people, when they feel that thing, come they gather. Say, let's go. Let's go and visit them. I have seen seven days. I think we had a vehicle somersault there. In the realm of the prophetic, I see K E E 306. Kale Parata 306. A -A. That is the flat number. Yeah, In the realm of the prophetic, I see somebody, and this has to do with transaction. There was somebody called Stephen you had transaction with. And this transaction is 2.5 million. And I saw where Stephen said, Instead of me to give you this money, make a kukuma kill you. And I saw where he backs hand from the tire of your car and travel to Benue State to frustrate you. The Lord said, Pray for him and deliver him. Am I talking to you? Yes, eh? yes. Stephen, Stephen, the Lord said, Deliver you from the hands of Stephen so that Stephen will not take your life. They don't already carry the, the tire, the sand from tire travel for you. So in the next seven days, it's about to manifest. Thank God you came here today. Who is he that said and he come to pass Jesus. when the Lord has not approved? Are you ready to be delivered from the hands of us? Yes, yes, ma. I'm ready. Lie down on the altar, they come. Come on, jump those hands together. For Stand up. What are you cooking? Food. Food. Yes. Do you cook food? Yes, ma. Because I see you cooking food and I see people around you. Yes, mommy. Eh? Yes, mommy. And I see you around Apo. Yes, mommy. I I... Nepal. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. There is a plot against you concerning the food where you just say. Is it like a spot? You have a place where you put, put your things to sell? Yes, mommy. Eh? Yes, mommy. There is another woman that Telling the same thing where I see around that place. Yes, mommy. I see where the woman tells her you don't collect all her customers. Not to say you do anything, but because your food sweet past her own. Yes, so other people don't leave her place, can't they eat your own? Yes, I saw where she done the verse. Said this smuggler will come here yesterday. Yes, Why she can't collect all my customer? Yes, Why she come to take the shine? Yes, In the realm of the prophetic, I saw where they told her to people. I saw where she defecated inside line now, and she began to sprinkle the people. People, sprinkle the people around that place and she began to mess up beauty, beauty. Who be beauty? Who be beauty? He said, Beauty, you will pack back to Kaduna State. So you will go back to Kaduna empty handed. He said, The same way she did here, you come. Now, so you go back, go back village. But I came to announce to you, not only will God elevate you, God is about to give you a big, a big shop. Amen. 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 Listen. This place where I see you now, it be like open place. Yes, I hear the Lord say to me, yes, from that place, yes, you are going to reset yes, to. to Jesus. I hear the Lord say to me, I will overturn and overturn and yes, overturn. Yes, he said, the stone the builders rejected shall become the chief cornerstone. Yes, Madam, come, let God use me to help you. Come, come, lift up your hand. I shall lay my hand on you. Yes, Lord. I am giving you between now and the next 21 days. Yes, Lord. Let your story change. <laughs> Take it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take it. Amen. Congratulations. Come on, celebrate the God of my mother. Mama, who invited you? Who invited you here? I know where. Now, your mama? Yes, ma. Eh? Yes, ma. Wait, so I see we are this woman, they go to hospital. Yes, she, do, she do hospital? Yes, ma'am. When? Yesterday. She, do, she go hospital yesterday? Yes, we come back from hospital yesterday. You came back from hospital yesterday? Yes. How long has she been going to the hospital? Since uh, last year. Since last year? Yes, Did she bury somebody? Yes. Who brother. did she bury? Her brother. Her brother? Yes, ma'am. Come on, jam those hands together for Jesus. <laughs> she buried her brother? Yes, ma'am. Eh? Yes. There is an issue. Are you hearing me? Yes, mommy. There is an issue. There is an issue. 
there is an issue, and this issue is a family issue. I see a very bird, way get long beak, black bird, and this bird has been crying for some time now. And if this bird returns again, what I see, when well, I'm not gonna like what's gonna happen. And that bird is a human being. Ah. And I see where this bird, time this bird cries, somebody will die. And I see where this bird is crying on this woman's head. And it's not a good one. Are you listening to me? Yes, the Lord said, take away the spirit of death. The Lord said, pray for her. Are you hearing me? Yes, mommy. Because I see some people crying, crying over Li Li Linda. Who be Linda? She's Linda. Yes. The Lord said, pray for her. Because I see people surrounding her. Mary. Mary. Um, Gabriel, Gabriel, who be Gabriel? Una no go bury una mama. Amen. Una no go bury una mama. Amen. Una no go bury una mama. Amen. That's me. The last burial that happened, the last burial that happened, will be the very last that will happen. Amen. One by one, everybody shall grow old. Amen. Now look at me. See, go to that place. Bring me green leaf. Really make I do something. Don't waste my time. Turn around and back. Prophecy with solution. Come and celebrate Jesus. Madam, the Lord wipe your tears. I see you crying. I see you crying. I see tears in your eyes. I see you crying. Look at you crying. And somebody was telling you, don't worry, don't worry. No, look at you crying. That, those tears are not for you. I need to talk to you. I see you crying. And the Lord said, end it. Her sister said, God has shocked her on this mountain. She said she was privileged to attend one of her services about a year ago. And then in that service, she saw the way mommy was prophesying. And she said to herself, is this a human or a spirit? What dimension of the prophetic is this? She said she was shocked and then she just decided to sit down and see what God will do in her life. She said to her greatest surprise, the voice of solution walked up to the husband and said, your promotion has been delayed. But right now, as a servant of the Most High God, as the prophet of the Almighty, I release your promotion in the name of Jesus. She said the husband screamed amen, she equally screamed amen. And then they left the service. And then of course, as a man and wife, they were discussing. This one that mommy has stepped into this matter. It means this matter is settled. Saints of God, to the glory of God against all satanic odds. God intervened and today her husband has been promoted to the rank of an inspector in the Nigerian police force. Now she said while they were celebrating God, the enemy came. Now he has been promoted but the benefits that was due to that promotion was not forthcoming. And then at the point they were so worried. And then one day she said no. Do you remember that this promotion came via the ministry of Mommy Rose Kelvin? If she was the one that prophesied it, Mommy will not give a half prophecy. If she has said your promotion is released, it means that all the financial benefits are equally released. And then the man said, it is true. Let us return back to the source. Now they came to the service two weeks ago. And then she said in that service, they told themselves, as long as we have entered into this house, this promotion the, the benefit is released. She said to the glory of God, the left service and went home. In the night, the husband had Tim 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 on his phone. And when the man opened his phone, it was not the usual salary anymore. The increment had now reflected. And to the glory of God, life has taken a new turn and she's celebrating God. Our brother said he is amazed at what God is doing in this ministry. He said a few days ago he was in his office and he said to his greatest surprise he heard something like a gunshot. And then he said he felt the direct effect of this sound he heard on his leg. He said the pain of that incident, he said words cannot describe how he felt. But he felt as though a bullet had pierced through his leg. He said instantly he fell. He started crying and he was in deep pain. He said colleagues came around and were asking him what is wrong. He said didn't you hear the sound I just heard? They said no we didn't hear anything. Then at that point he down on him that he had just had a demonic attack. He said he lay down there in 
in pace and holding his legs. He was shouting, my leg, my leg. But of course, no help from anywhere. He said they took him from that place, went to one hospital to the other. Doctors did all they could, but that arrow remained in the leg. He said he got to a point he couldn't walk on his own. They were now carrying him from one place to the other. He said one of the medications they gave him from the hospital, he said the thing transferred the pain from the leg to his chest. Instead of the pain going, the pain left the leg and now went to the chest. He said he saw life leaving his body. He was dying gradually. He said, but to the glory of God, a sister from this ministry told him about the acts of God upon this ministry. The sister told him there is a God in unveiling the veil. Please let me take you there. This arrow will be sent back to the sender. Our brother said he came to church that day a dead. He couldn't walk by himself. He said he came to church. Now before then he said for about two weeks he couldn't sleep. Sleepless night because of the pain. But that particular faithful day he came to church and met with the voice of solution. Mommy laid hands on the legs and said you satanic arrow from wherever you are coming from I retrieve you now and send you back to sender. He said that was it. He said he left the service that day and went home. He said from that day to today till eternity. That pen took off and today can you show the devil how you can walk my brother? He is overwhelmed because he said if you know the kind of pains I went through. Look at him walking today to the glory of God. He's walking today to the glory of God. So emotional. Many of you will not understand what God has done in the life of this brother. Total healing by the power of God. He came here aided. They brought him here. But today to the glory of God our brother is walking all by himself. Are you just looking like that? Our sister said she has come to appreciate the Lord for all that God has done for her. She said her life is a bundle of testimonies. She said when she joined this ministry, she said God started doing all manner of things in her life. Now she told me, she said, Pastor, before I came here, I was worshipping with one ministry. I was with one ministry somewhere. But the glory of God that I've seen in my life since I got connected to this ministry has been so different from the past. She said, I can actually tell that since I started attending this ministry, God has beautified my life. Now she said, when she came in here, she had the privilege of getting one of the ministry's uh, handband and then she has been wearing it in her hand. She said she knew within herself that that band has been a form of, you know, certification and fortification around her. She said each time she says any form of satanic hostility something tells her this thing you are wearing in your hand is not ordinary and she says she started wearing that band till now. God has been doing all manner of great and mighty testimonies in her life. Preserving her and shielding her from all forms of evil. Now she said sometimes uh, towards the end of last year the husband had an issue in his office and she said to herself if this bangu has been doing great things in my life let me get release it to my husband so that he can also enjoy what i'm enjoying now she said as soon as she released that bangu and gave to the husband the husband in the office was enjoying a lot of victories and then he looked to her as if the enemy now returned back with all forms of battle now she said she was trying to get another one but she couldn't telling the husband honey please release my bangu to me was a challenge. She was in the middle didn't know what to do. But to the glory of God she said she came to church in one of these services and then she was opportune to see her mother and then mommy prayed for her. Now she said before this time she had issue with her blood pressure. She said it was always going up going down all manner of medical reports. But she said after that prayer she went to the hospital and the doctors checked her and said madam you are perfectly okay your blood pressure is now normal you are doing well it is 110 over 80 you are perfectly okay go home and enjoy divine health and she said from that day to today to forever it's been months now and she said her bp has been normal her bp has been stabilized everything working for her good can you please jump those hands together for jesus and she said one of the things she has desired from this ministry is marital harmony, marital bliss. And she said, each time she looks at daddy and mommy, 
point has been, Lord, I connect to this order of testimony. My marriage will be beautiful. My marriage will be loving. And today, she's celebrating 16 years of being in marriage. God has been faithful to her. Today is her marriage and wedding anniversary. And she's not taking it for granted. Oh, 
A series last week Friday on the crystallization of faith where I told you the processes of faith the place of preparation and the place of uh, you know revealing shining and God bringing to pass everything that has been declared hallelujah I told us I made details of, of that teaching if you go on mommy's page on the YouTube page on the YouTube handle at we love prophetess rose kelvin you will see those teachings there they are there you can peruse through them go through them and be blessed hallelujah and today in continuation but from another angle i am going to be dealing on at the threshold of science and wonders it was crystallization of faith for science and wonders that i concluded but now at the threshold of science and wonders don't be confused. I was very confused for some, you know, years ago when I heard the word threshold until I, you know, began to research it. Because the dictionary did not quite give me what it meant until I did a research on it and just understood that threshold is door. The word threshold simply means door. The door, this, you see, the frame of a door, that's threshold. So, if you stand in the at that, at that point where the door is, the frame of that door is, that place is called threshold. Praise the Lord. And then the Bible talks about threshing floor. Threshing floor is the place where things are grounded. So what I'm talking about is at the door of signs and wonders. Now, signs and wonders and the manifestation of signs and wonders is a beautiful scenery to behold. 
both in the realms of the spirit and in the realm of time it's a beautiful thing to see that one is walking into signs and wonders it's a beautiful thing to see that all of the declaration that has been made concerning your life you are beginning to see some things happen you are beginning to see some things pop up you are beginning to see some you know things that leads to the fact that something is about to happen for some of you it will begin with your dream maybe in your dream you are the one that is always chased after but right now you now see yourself walking on the head of your enemy is a sign that signs and wonders is about to be shut in it's not talking to somebody here for some persons it is you know like people who you would you know why not they don't give a damn about you they don't talk to you you greet them they don't answer you but suddenly they begin to ask you things like ah, how have you been wow i've not noticed you for a long time it means something has cleared in the spirit for a manifestation of signs and wonders to pop up and you need to have a knowledge of some of these things so that you know how to prepare when you eventually cross that threshold is god talking to somebody here for some people it might just be suddenly somebody just say hey let me let me uh, okay uh, you did this thing well but okay just give me your account number and for a very long time you have never had something like give me your account number a lady came to testify here one day and said that in her life nobody has favored her with money a beautiful girl beautiful face nice fair complexion like my, myself came out to declare said nobody has ever but the day she encountered mommy rose in this place after she left people started asking her give me your account number i want to send you money so when suddenly somebody just said give me your account number and the next thing they make the transfer even if it's a transfer of one thousand is a sign that something is stirred in the spirit for the signs and wonders manifestation it's equally a sign when you receive certain phone calls from people you have waited for their calls or maybe you've been trying to reach them but they are not getting back to you but suddenly you just receive the call and it's from that person and he's asking how are you how is everything oh sorry i missed your call some time ago it will have been so busy it's a sign what you need to do when you see this sign is what i'm about to teach you right now at the threshold of signs and wonders you must prepare yourself with the requisite knowledge on what to do how to prepare else you will see the symptoms and the manifestation may not come else you will notice that some some light came somebody just sent you money and then you are like oh wow this person how did this happen people don't send me money wow wow they start giving you money all of a sudden now hear me if you don't have the prerequisite knowledge to sustain the full manifestation of that symptoms you have seen you may lose it because believers will always lose what they didn't know they had they will always lose what they didn't know you know is with is around them it is common for man to pursue shadows and leave his gold to pursue dust pursue sand pursue just shadows and leave his gold that is why you see a man will marry a beautiful woman but if you see the mweke where they give a sleepless night outside the home if you see if you go there and say how is this what why the wife find past the wife now better woman now what's in the carry this man i go outside there is something is either he has not realized how to package what he has or the fact that he doesn't have the knowledge to understand that the devil can distract you with what is less important for your destiny a lot of us are distracted with what is less important for our destiny you are busy pursuing what will not help your tomorrow and you are abandoning the real cross of the matter that god has brought you into to carry you to the next level my prayer for somebody today is that the lord will open our eyes as you step into signs and wonders in the course of this season as you get ready to receive you know unprecedented testimonies in your life as you get ready to see those things that mommy have spoken those things that she has opened her eyes into 
the manifestation you have prayed for and waited for as you get ready to enter it may the lord open your eyes to know what to do in order not to lose the picture in order not to lose the tapestry in order not to lose what god has prepared for somebody if you believe it let your amen sound like thunder at the threshold of signs and wonders a lot of things will begin to happen you will see things like hatred people will suddenly just begin to you know talk to you somehow maybe a boss comes out from the office and then this is the same boss that when he sees you he doesn't take a damn about you he doesn't you know he doesn't notice you but suddenly he comes out ah, ah, how are you sandra wow sandra you look beautiful today that compliment of you look beautiful i want you to know that it is connected to a manifestation that is about to happen for good i am not talking about the negative side of it i'm talking about the manifestation for good maybe a colleague that is close to the man the man was not close to you but the colleague is close to the man will now return to the office to tell the man hmm, okay this one you are just admiring sandra today i don't understand though at that point you receive such compliment know that something is about to happen but your awareness to the fact that that thing can be truncated it can be killed at that point is paramount for the manifestation of signs and wonders give me the book of genesis chapter 37 genesis 37 and i read from verse 3 now israel loved joseph more than all his children this is at the verge of manifesting signs and wonders so love came don't throw away the fact that when people start loving you start showing care ah hey i've not it's been a while though there is a sign is a sign that something is happening in the spirit so now israel loved joseph more than his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren they hated him so hatred will come when there is a sign that you are about to become something or that something is about to happen for you you don't be surprised the hatred might even come from whom you are not expecting it and could not speak peaceably unto him issues began to crack hear me where you are going is as a result of the capacity god has given you when the hatred like this start to come know that you are in the process of a manifestation i didn't hear your amen like thunder there is a process that is about to be baited and joseph dreamed the dream and he told his brethren and they hated him yet the more hatred degree two <laughs> when the first breakthrough came because first, first breakthrough will always come with a vision when vision comes to you the next thing is you just notice that you can't keep the vision you want to share it the thing is heavy on you you want to share it because it is normal to share vision oh oh i just got a concept that by the time i enter this business now and i do this do this, it will begin to work and the person that is listening to you is like ah, ah. he doesn't even have a degree how will he do this business eh? so this guy have this kind of vision hatred will begin so when the first vision came the hatred toppled with the one that they hated him when the father loved him and he said unto them hear you i pray you this dream which i have had be careful who you share your vision with for behold we were binding sheaves in the field and lo my sheep arose and also stood upright and behold your sheep stood round about and made obeisance to my sheep and his brethren said to him shall thou indeed reign over us or shall thou indeed have dominion over us and they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words hatred degree number three so they were just piling up the, the hatred it was moving from one one space to the other as long as you have the destiny of yourself get ready to be hated when the manifestation time comes is god talking to somebody here as long as you carry the destiny of a Simpson, if you are not aware delilah will come for you because delilah would have nothing to do with anybody that is not a samson lion will not have anything to do with anybody that is not, does not carry the destiny of a samson 
When you are a David, don't be surprised. Goliaths will always come after you. Brothers will always abandon you in the bush. Betrayers will always happen around you by your own brothers. Those are signs that you are about to enter into manifestation. If they don't, you know, when God blesses you, be careful. Your first enemies may even be your siblings. Yes, yes. Now them go talk, say you use their destiny. Be, am I talking strange things? You never hear say they say somebody, they use somebody's destiny. No, be, you, how, how, how can you use somebody's destiny? How can you use my destiny, me? How? What do you want to do to take use my destiny, me? How? Even if I was not a believer, you can't use my destiny. It's, I mean, it's not possible. How will you do that? If it's not for hatred, is God teaching anybody anything now? So, those are statements coming from hatred. Because the day God blesses you, another person goes off saying, using destiny. As soon as you are entering your signs and wonders, things begin to happen for you. All the period of your stress and abandonment, all the period you have suffered, people will not remember it again. No? That is why sometimes when mommy is telling her story, you are nostalgic and you are like, really? Is it possible? It is true. It is true that she lived in one room with me without kitchen for years until God can't change the book. Yes, it is true. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you get to that threshold, these are the things you will begin to see. When you begin to see them, know that the battle is intense and you have a programming. I will tell you what to do. And he dreamed yet another dream and told his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed the dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. Here, yeah, another reaction. Oh. In the, it just they open in mouth, they tell everybody, This is my vision. I dream that I'm going high. I dream that all of you, I'm going to be the helper of all of you. Nah, come and be my helper, no problem. Come and be my helper. I will support you to be my helper. Is God talking to somebody here? How your brother go they rise? Now you were supposed to support him. Now they hate him. Now they hate him. Eh, is it because he has money? No. Please mind how you talk to your David. Because there can be two David in one palace. God will always give one David to one family that will be one David in the palace. God will always produce just one Joseph, not two, that will go and be prime minister in Egypt and save the whole family. So don't tell him, imagine the brothers of Joseph wanted this stupid boy. So we thought we sold you, you now succeed. Joseph will lock them in prison. He will lock them in prison. Before you see brother call police for him, brother, you get what thing happen. Praise Master Jesus. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him. His father got confused. The prophet of the house, the high priest of the house, the bishop of the family got confused. He didn't know that God can bless anybody for the family. If God looked at Reuben and he didn't trust Reuben and decided to bless Joseph for the family, is it not okay? So the father started rebuking Joseph. Why will you say this? He said, what is it? His father rebuked him and said unto him, what is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth? But after rebuking him, something came to his mind. And his brethren envied him. It has moved from hatred now to envy. And when it comes to envy, they will do anything to stop him. And his brethren envied him. But his father observed the same. He first of all rebuked him. Are we going to all bow before you, this boy? What kind of vision are you having? What kind of nonsense, signs and wonder manifestation is that? What are you talking about? You are talking about a manifestation in this family and all of us will bow to you. After shouting, the man enter his bedroom say, this guy may be right. Why will he be seeing us this dream together? Is he not also my son? Even though he was talking about the mother there, as at this time, Joseph's mother was already late, Rachel. 
So he was a stepson to the mother they were talking about. The mother they were talking about is Leah. Leah was still alive. Leah was the first wife of Jacob. So their hatred of this one is not from our mother's womb was still there. But when Jacob went inside, he reasoned and said, wow, there should be a point in what this boy is saying. After all, they are all my blood. Don't rush into hasty conclusion as a parent over matters concerning your children. Because you might be the one at the threshold to usher them into where they are going. And when you take side with certain ones that you saw the light on, some, that you feel that this one should be the one that will rule the family. And God said, no, it is this one that is a mumu that will rule the family. Please obey God and let God, let God package the family the way it ought to be. Let God direct you. As you get home today, ask God for wisdom to decide certain things concerning the life of your children. Because that one you didn't expect will come out with anything might even be the one that God has given the destiny of the entire family. The one that does not look as if he's taking care of you now. The one that does not care about you might be the one that will eventually take care of you tomorrow. And you'll be busy hating him, hating him, causing resentment of the future. And then in the future, you now say, Papa, Daddy, you hated me. Oh. Mommy, you never loved me. You were always loving this one. And it will be an inhibition in his heart. So as a parent, let's learn from Israel. Who went in and observed the same. Give me verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, Jacob sent uh, Joseph right now to go and take food to his brethren in the bush where they were taking care of animals. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired to slay him. Conspiracy will always come up at your threshold of science and wonder. So don't just say, Oh God, give me manifestation. Oh God, oh God, change my situation. Oh God, lift me up. Oh God, I must ride this car. There are battles that will come with it. Oh. Conspiracy will begin to happen. This is not neighbor, this is not friend. These are brothers from the same blood plotting against their brother. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, the man of vision, they come. Let's kill the vision now. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beast had devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. So it is not about Joseph. It was about his destiny. The battle that the devil is planning to bring before you now is not just about you. It's not about you coming to unveiling the veil city. It's not about you being a Momiro's son or daughter. It is about the destiny God has prepared you to achieve. You can imagine in a family where nobody amounts to anything. A family where people don't, where people, where, where ladies' bride prices are not paid. You are now the one that a man is planning and say, no, get ready, baby. I'm going to send you five million to prepare the wedding and, you know, do the bride price material, get everything. And you are like, in the family where bride price of ladies are not paid and you have such destiny that a man will give you money to prepare everything before he comes. You think you are going to be normal? You think battles will not happen? You think your brothers will not hate you? Even if you don't give your mama some part of the money, he go feel begin to envy you. <laughs> Somebody say threshold of signs and wonders. Yes. These are the things you will see. In a place where nobody ever succeeds and suddenly under the ministry of Mommy Rose in unveiling the first city, a declaration is made and the crystallization of that declaration is about to happen. Suddenly, you will be saying, you know, Sabi drive. They say, see your official car. You have to go and learn it. We are giving you this driver only for two months. And after two months, they see you, the drive car. You come down from car. Christmas reach, you carry that official car, go village. You know, say the car don't become your own. But you see, they tell people, it's my official car. And they are like, yeah, 
official guinea na familia onye egwaragi na iga bon official car they carry something tie under the tire it's not strange it is what we will see at the threshold of signs and wonders so you must get ready for them you must get ready for them when success is on the way when manifestations are on the way when that job you have prayed for god you have prayed to god for is on the way when that marriage that has delayed for so long is on the way when that lifting that you have waited for is on the way you must prepare because that is another circle for you to complete i told you about the completing of circle by the time you have completed the circle of crystallization there is another circle to complete that is what we call the circle of manifestation you may not successfully enter there if you do are not aware that enemies can bring you down can i pray for somebody the enemies will not truncate your journey oh come on that your amen is not good enough if your amen is better you are the one god is talking to they cannot truncate your journey you must manifest you must finish your journey in the mighty name of jesus so the battle was not about joseph the battle was about his dream some of the battles you are already going through right now some of you who are seeing the manifestation hey you went for this interview they gave you the job but your name never come up for list those are the battles showing that the devil is trying to confront where you are going it's not about you it's not about you he wants to stop you because of what god will use you to do for your family for humanity for all those whose destinies are tied to you there are some of you under the sound of my, of my, of my voice your destiny is not just standing alone there are over two thousand people connected to your destiny and as long as you rise those two thousand people will rise the arising is at your mercy take mommy rose for instance the rising of many men and women around the globe are tied to her answering this call of ministry if she had not answered it many men wouldn't have risen many deliverances would have occurred many crystallization won't have happened so many manifestations wouldn't come to pass but my prophecy on this is that you will be one of those manifestations it is not about you it is about the destiny you will meet that destiny you will shine in that destiny hallelujah now they hated joseph hatred number one for love hatred number two for sharing his first vision hatred number three for sharing his second vision hatred number four that led to envy and they said let us kill him let us know now how the dream will manifest let us now know this thing that mommy say that you must marry let us now know whether you you, you get to head where you want to take marry who told you that you can get married who told you you can get a car who told you you can be a graduate and a lot of dropouts i know of a family that in the family if you hear them speak very sound family of three boys but all of them are you, are, you know undergraduates dropped out as undergraduates the first dropped out in second year third one the second one dropped out in second year and uh, no in third year then the last one dropped out at final year at the second semester exam he said you know they go to school again they no be saying not nobody offended him he said i don't want to go to school again is it normal and then somebody from that family now god now said you will finish you are going to become the ceo of access bank you are going to have too much money do you think people will close their hands no they will fight we know their trajectory in this family they don't become anything in this family we know the ladies are still like ladies how can this one now become somebody god will be using prepare help me touch your neighbor say prepare because god is taking you somewhere where you are going is bigger than you where you are going is larger than what you have seen it is mightier than what you have imagined but you will succeed in the mighty name of jesus three evil that you must fight at that threshold number one evil satan and evil spirits number one evil satan and evil spirit the three evils that will confront you at the threshold i am giving you this as a very important knowledge for you to have so that when you see certain things happening around you you will be able to understand oh this is because of where i am going 
it is not about me. Yes. Yes. When you see people betray you, just understand it's not about you. There is something they are, they are protesting to stop. They want to stop it. They want to stop it. You may not see it, but they just want to stop it. Joseph was only sharing vision. He didn't know he was going to get there one day. He was telling his family, see oh, see dream where I dream oh. I dream say, we they tie this thing for bush. All on our own come the bow. I dream say, 11 stars day. He was talking his vision casually. And in their hearts, they are like, okay, let's see how you will become it. Let's see where you will go with it. Let's see how you will become it. Can I pray for somebody? You will become what they say you will not become. What they are trying to stop you from becoming is what you will become. If you believe God, let your amen sound like thunder. So Satan and evil spirit will see the book of Job. Job chapter 1 verse 6 from verse 6 to 12. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Waiting he can't do. He came to negotiate. Let me tell you what he came and do. And the Lord said unto Satan, Ah ah, oh boy, whence comest thou? Where you they come from? Now Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? So you don't remember Job will make you come this meeting. Evil man. So you remember Job. Can I pray for somebody? May the devil not remember you. The Bible says he will give us temptation we can bear. I don't want to experience what Job experienced. I may not make it. Let me be sincere. I may not make it. How can you clear the children of a man? Clear everything. Give him wounds all over his body. And after some years, you now say his life was better than the previous one. Now leave me like this. Is God talking to anybody here? And the Lord said unto Satan, as I consider my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and extruded evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? So God already knew what was in his heart. That he was about to stop a man that was at a threshold of celebration. May the devil not remember you. May the devil not remember your children. Blessed is he or her who the devil does not remember. Be doing your thing. Just the flourish, the go. Make the devil not remember you. He will not remember you. As long as you are under the coverage of this ministry. As long as you are under the coverage of mommy rose i decree by the finger of jehovah you are out of the signals of the enemies in the victorious name of jesus then satan answered he said i was thou not made an hedge about him and about his house and about that he, and about all that he had on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land this is you now god is talking to in the course of manifesting your signs and wonders these are the things that will happen god will make an hedge around your family i didn't hear that amen. amen and about your house and about all that you have on every side god will bless you and bless the work of your hand and his substance in your hand will increase so this is the point of signs and wonders now the devil presented all the evidence say you gave him signs and wonders. You gave him everything. You protected him so that we will not go feed you campaign. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he had and he will cause thee to thy face. Now, devil was telling God, if you touch anything Job has, Job will reject you. Job will fight you because he saw that he couldn't do Job anything. So he went to entice God. He said, Job will fight you. Now the rest, you know the story. Before you knew it, house fell on the children. And all the children died in one day. All his businesses, his cattle, everything crushed in one day. Job became a poor man in a day from being rich. When the devil is on the case of a man, he does everything possible, including lobbying God to stop the man. What is the lesson to be learned from the, uh, uh, the life of Job? Anytime 
God brings you to the level, this high level he brought Job, where Job became very rich. Understand that you must lean on the mercies of God. It is the mercy of God that will continually sustain you. Oh Lord, I am not capable. I didn't give myself this. I didn't bring myself here. I need your mercy to keep me here. Job was giving thanksgiving to God. But I, did, I looked at the scripture very well. And I didn't see where the cry for mercy was in the lips of Job. While he was giving thanksgiving. And that was why the devil was able to penetrate. Because God who knew the heart of the devil from beginning. Knew that the devil came with an agenda against Job. So how will he not know that Job will suffer to the point where his wife will tell him, Honey, I am tired of this case. Why don't you curse God and die? The woman was not being angry. The woman was telling Job the truth. Curse God and die. You know why? She saw her husband in a situation where Ibo called Odin Duongu Kamma. You are alive, but the dead is better than you. That was the situation she saw Job. So she told Job, my husband, my heart breaks every day to see you in this condition. Why don't you cause this God and just die? So God knew that it will come to a point where devil will torture Job and even the wife who believed God with him will reject God. Yet God allowed it to happen. Can I pray for somebody? Stretch forth your hands towards me. Makuke Livala Tokule Bragada Zodaya. The worst you have ever seen in your life before. That is the worst that shall ever be. Yeah. Number two person. David. First Chronicles chapter 21, verse 1. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked who? Nothing they happened, no. He was just on his own. Verse enter in mind. Be careful when you are just on your own. Or you sleep, wake up, the next thing you begin the verse. You see your wife, you begin the frown face. You now started remembering everything your wife did to you wrong before. Be careful when you wake up from sleep. And the only thing you can remember is the offense of your husband of two years ago. Five years ago. Ten years ago. That is the devil stepping in to destroy you. Be careful when you just suddenly get offended over your prophet. Over unveiling the veil. And uh, since I go down ministry, what has even happened? Be careful. It's not ordinary when you get offended without being offended. It is not ordinary to get offended without being offended. Some people call it mood swing. You just see your husband, just say, idiot. You mistreated me. Foolish evil man. And the man is saying, oh baby, honey, wow. And in your heart, mm -hmm. if to say, if to say no be wanting now for just poison you, be careful. Be careful. If God has allowed you pass through that period, don't bring it back to haunt you. Because it will haunt you and haunt your destiny. Look at what happened in this scripture. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. An offense before God. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go number Israel from Beersheba even unto Dan and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. For what one? What was the census for? I will tell you why. And Joab answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But my Lord, the king, are they not all my Lord's servants? Eh? Why then does my Lord require this, them to be counted? Why will he be why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? This is a servant of the man asking now. Why, oh God, you know, say this thing now, offense. Why are you in the, you know engaging in this kind of activity? That's Satan. Be careful. Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed and went to carry out that census throughout all Israel and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand, thousand and hundred thousand men. It's getting worse. 
that drew sword and Judah was 400 three score and 10,000 men that drew sword but Levi and Benjamin counted he not he was trying to reduce the offense against his master counted he not for the king's word was abominable to Joab even his servant saw that Oga even if you diverse you shouldn't be you shouldn't go against God like this ladies and gentlemen I will just find somewhere to stop here. I will continue next time. When the devil is against your case, he will steer the spirit of pride from you. You will see a very humble man suddenly become proud. Without me, can that ministry go forward? Without me, will the choir sing? If I leave the choir now, the choir scatter. If not be me if as a pastor there, now who else? If not be me as a prophet protocol there now who else not be me be the person where they shine not be me they make the church package if not be me know they support mommy with money who else in fact i am leaving this ministry you live at your own peril it's not a cause you know why because you have truncated the process the devil can enter the heart of men with pride at the threshold of their signs and wonders when you are about to hit suddenly, the next thing, your mind goes just bitter. David stood as a king and said, I want to know my capacity as a king. Go and count the army of Israel for me. Go and check their numbers. Let me know that I am a warrior. Let me know that I have achieved something. That was a man whom God has brought to a threshold where he won 66 wars. Fought 66 and won 66. He had a record. What are you counting the men for? So in counting the men, he wanted to take the glory that he built the army. Let us be careful when we want to take the glory for what God has done. Oh Lord, may I not take the glory for what you have done? I refuse it. Don't take the glory of God over what he is centered about. And God was displeased with this thing. Therefore, he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly. When this thing is happening now, the devil that went to steer him up, don't come out. He don't, he don't come out. The devil don't come out. He don't live on waka. If it's not this girl, in fact, I will not have peace. I must, I must have her. She must be my own. This is a married man talking. This is a married man. I received the news of a pastor last night. We have been on intervention. And I was asking myself, what are you intervening over a matter that has no conscience? When Satan is on the case of a man, he will make you quest for what you shouldn't go for. And you begin to have sleepless nights over it. He will raise your ego. Without me, Kwan, is there anything they are doing there? May God deliver his people. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. And David said unto the Lord, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. When you, want, when you think I'm, you don't know. Be careful with the threshold. But now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto God, David seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus said the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto you. So God came to David and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, choose thee, either three years of famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while that the sword of thy enemies overtake thee, or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coast of Israel. Now therefore, advise thyself what word I shall bring to the Lord who sent me. And David said unto God, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord. For very great are his mercies. You see mercy. You see the cry for mercy. The cry for mercy came on time. If not, the entirety of Israel would have been finished. When God allows devil coming, please don't forget mercy. Don't even allow the devil come before you start crying for mercy. 
Lord, I can't do this without you. This business will not work without you. This is not about my acad academic prowess. This is not about my intelligence. This is not about me going to school. This is not about me understanding this thing. This is about you allowing me the privilege to do this for the destiny of people that are tied to me. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord for very great are his mercies. But let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon, upon Israel. And there fell Israel 70,000 men killed in a day because the devil came to whisper pride to a man. Destiny thwarted. The devil came to whisper pride to a man. 75,000 men fell. Open your hand. I pray for you by the finger of Jehovah at your threshold of manifestation in your journey into becoming whom God wants you to be, the devil will not encounter you. Even if the devil encounters you, may you find wisdom to escape. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. May you find wisdom to escape. Wisdom to escape the evil of the enemies. Wisdom to escape the strategy of the devil. If you believe God, let your amen sound like thunder. Pride is very dangerous. Number three. Zechariah chapter three from verse one to five. This is the devil accusing a man whom God made clean. Zechariah chapter three from verse one to five. That's the story of the devil coming before God to accuse Joshua the high priest. The Bible says Joshua appeared before the Lord, but he appeared with dirty clothes. Hallelujah. And the devil accused him. Can I pray for somebody? may the devil not accuse you at your threshold somehow somehow the devil will begin to raise the things you have done before just to bring accusation to you just to make sure you are stopped at the threshold but you know what always cry for the lord's mercy number four luke chapter 22 verse 31 and the lord said simon simon behold this simon is simon peter behold satan has desired to have you that he may sift. The word sift means to sieve. To sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you. That thy faith fail not. May your faith not fail. At the point of your threshold. And when thou art converted. Strengthen thy brethren. Praise master Jesus. Strengthen thy brethren. Act chapter 5 from verse 1 to 3. Now the case of Peter was a case of spiritual nonchalance. You, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, uh, what did they do yourself? Anyway, just leave me out of it. He was a serious person coming to church, but he was nonchalant about spiritual things. He will always be in Friday service and Tuesday services, but he was always nonchalant. The word nonchalant means he doesn't care about spiritual. You know what is happening in the spirit? The devil is saving you as wheat. Because you are not challenged over spiritual matter. But you are very concerned about matter, matter when no two matters, fleshly matter. Anytime you are not challenged about your spiritual life, I'm most concerned about how you look, about, you know, about the physical. The devil is saving you as wheat. Jesus told Peter, Peter was fortunate to be around Jesus Christ. He said, Peter, your busy body is too much. And the devil is about to sieve you like a wheat. But I have prayed for you. So now that I have strengthened you, raise your brethren. If the Lord has strengthened you in this congregation, raise your brethren. Go out for evangelism. Let people know that there is what God is doing in this dispensation. Is God talking to anybody here? So that is it. Peter had an unbalanced spiritual life but a very very balanced physical life he will come out for donation in church but the spiritual life is lacking he will be in church sit down with suit wow cross leg they listen but inside the depth of his heart he's not ready to obey anything in fact if we declare fasting you know go fast when we they pray for church you go pray oh but immediately come out, pray I don't die. 
if this thing relates to you please wake up act chapter 5 from verse 1 to 3 but a certain man named ananias with sapphira his wife sold possession and kept back part of the price part of the money his wife also being privy to it that is his wife knew about it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostle feet but peter said ananias why had satan filled thy heart when satan fills a man's heart this is what happens why has satan filled thy heart to lie to the holy ghost and to keep back part of the money of the land money now your own land now your own but look at where i have an offense with him whilst it remained it was it not thy own and after it was sold was it not still thy own in thy own power why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart thou hast not lied unto men but unto god and ananias hearing these words fell down and gave up the ghost and great fear came on all men that heard these things and the young men arose wound him up and cut out and buried him you will not be buried your destiny, your destiny will not be buried your children will not be buried you shall not be buried and it was about the space of three hours after when his wife you know this that drama they don't arrange them when his wife not knowing what was done came in and peter answered unto her tell me whether you sold the land for so much and she said yeah for that same amount my husband has said at that time she know no say her husband don't die then peter said unto her how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the lord behold the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out then fell she straightway and his feet and he straightway at his feet and yielded up the ghost and the young men came in and found her dead and carrying her forth buried her by her husband three things here number one the devil entered the man and filled his heart that was the man that lifted up his hand maybe when peter was calling for vows say oh man of god i'm going to sell my land and i'm going to bring the proceed of the land baby have we not agreed the wife said yes yes, yes we have agreed and under that unction they agreed that they were going to give their land sell it and bring the money to church not forced not under compulsion now when they eventually sold the land they saw or maybe they perceived that the money was too big to be brought to god just like some of us who were asking god lord give me this job lord i'm going to be paying my tithe and now you have the job and when anytime you bring out the tithe to pay it's big in your eye you're now saying no but mommy is a big woman now why will i be paying this kind of big tithe your destiny is at stake because mommy don't need the tithe the tithe is for the workings the doing of the work of god and when your tithe comes into the process your life is blessed it is the automatic mystery of the kingdom it's an automatic is is a principle and a process the kingdom is wired to now ananias went to sell the land land your own money your own what was wrong to come and tell the man of god man of god please when i made that vow i didn't remember i was owing my landlord i didn't also remember my children's school fees were not paid please let me give this half and keep this half to use it to settle my family problem peter would have said god bless you god bless you it is well go even if peter verse is god talking to somebody here the man didn't lie anytime you begin to develop see finish for your prophet you begin to lie to your prophet some people are dedicated church members like ananias and Safara, dedicated but they don't value their prophet if the prophet is saying a they are doing b if the prophet said today we are doing y they go back to start doing a they are not in alignment be careful when anytime you are under a spiritual authority like this you don't find alignment with the spirit of god it means there is a problem it means satan has filled the heart of such person when satan fills your heart you can be stopped at the threshold 
Satan filling the heart of somebody will make him look everything. Look down on everything. Look down on what is happening. Look down on the move of the spirit. Look down on the manifestation. Look down on the prophetic. Look down on the prayer. What are we even coming here to do? Every time, fire, fire, fire. And I never see anything. As you never see, people they see. The reason why you never see them now because of the condition of your heart. Satan has filled your heart. And it can stop your signs and wonders if you don't empty it. It's got talking to somebody here. Please be careful when you see yourself dedicated, but you lack coherence with spiritual authority God has put above you. It's very dangerous. It can stop your signs and wonders. Praise Master Jesus. Stand on the truth. Your prophet is your prophet. If your prophet cannot understand you, please, who else can? Make it bare. Talk to your prophet. Three people you can't lie to. Your doctor. Because if you lie to your doctor, sickness will kill you. Your lawyer. If you lie to your lawyer, you go go jail. Because the lawyer no go prepare well. You go to believe, say you don't do the thing. Meanwhile, if you say you call him, tell him, say you do him. Now he go advise you, say, oh yeah, plead guilty. Let's do this thing on a plea bargain. You lie to your lawyer. Ah, lawyer, ah, no, I didn't do it. You will go to jail. Number three, your prophet. You may lie to your pastor, but don't lie to your prophet. Because your prophet is a mark of destiny. When you lie to your prophet, you kill, you didn't die physically, but you have killed something spiritually. Ananias never knew that that nonchalance, that small lie was going to take his life. If he knew, he wouldn't lie. Today, because certain manifestations are not happening again, somebody will be, mommy will be asking you something by prophecy, you are lying. That's why you see sometimes when I, when the spirit of God tells me, this person is lying, I come to intervene. Because such people don't know what they are doing. Why will somebody go to church and lie and die? How will you come to church where you are meant to be blessed? You come and carry costs and go back. You deep hand, you are still in church offering. Hey, people's poverty and, 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 evil, and all their costs. Somebody will come to church with a heart of 419 to defraud people in the church. You are digging your grave. You are in church. What you are coming to do is to defraud people. You are in church. What you are coming to do, you have made up your mind. I must tempt this girl. I must sleep with her. If I don't get that man, eh? Mm, mm. If I don't get the man, I go tell him, I say all these things, I pretend. I go get her. I go get her. Forget that thing. I go get her. So you are bragging as a devil. May the Lord open our eyes. Finally, Satan and evil spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. And least I should be exalted above measure. This is Apostle Paul talking now. Above measure. Through the abundance of the revelation. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh. The messenger of Satan. To buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. This is now God using Satan to keep a man humble. God knows that when you eventually enter your signs and wonder, you will not be accessible again. People will turn to rag in your eye. You know, Apostle Paul has so much revelation that people began to worship him. They began to worship him. There is a denomination, you know, that don't marry because Apostle Paul didn't marry. Yes, of course. In his time, people worshipped him. The Bible says when he died, handkerchiefs from his grave were healing people. He was that big. He was that mighty. Do you know what God did? God allowed the devil to put a thorn on his flesh. If you look at theological exegesis or exegetical theology, you will understand that that thorn on his flesh may simply mean that he had, you know, before they call the word syphilis, before they mention what syphilis. How many of you have known syphilis before? Syphilis. Very, very bad. It will give you something like a very bad patch, a wound on your genital as a man. I don't know how it happens to women. 
but it will give you wound on your genital as a man such the genital will be useless anytime you feel anything like an erection it is you begin to cry syphilis now syphilis is not as young as when it was discovered it has been there so when apostle paul was talking about the thorn on his flesh the buffeting of his flesh he was not talking about the normal flesh he was talking about his private area there was a wound there such that there was no medicine at that time that could heal him that was the major deliverer but could deliver himself major prayer man major man with anointing that stretched for his hand people fall under anointing and get healed but could not heal himself the deliverer is lacking deliverance that was when he cried out and said oh the devil has buffeted me i can't even get married i can't even achieve like other men i cannot even find fleshly satisfaction to consummate if eventually i get married so i cannot even get married and he began to cry there are such conditions that come to certain people god wants to use that condition to humble them they also also do everything possible but the person that is feeding them is somebody who is not up to a quarter of them anytime god finds that there is inhibited pride in you that cannot be delivered there may be a thorn in the flesh of your destiny that may stop you but by the mercies of god may the lord deliver us be on your feet wherever you are stand to your feet and lift up your hand wherever you are the power of god is here right now i see angels littered everywhere I see angels of delivery. The power of God is here now. He is here to meet your needs. He is here to set the captives free. Look at look look at the power of God. Look at Holy Ghost. Touch, 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 touch. Total freedom. Yes, 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 yes. The power of God move, move. Let the yoke be broken. I have a pattern. Let castles be broken. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, move in the crowd, move in the atmosphere. Let that man, that woman, be delivered now. Something is happening to her. Something, something, the power of death has been broken. 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 Lift up your two hands. I hear the Lord said to me, the abandoned project <laughs> shall be completed. The project that seemed abandoned. I hear the Lord said to say to you, it shall be completed. Amen. 
I hear it loud and clear. Every abandoned project in your hand. Between now and the next one month. It shall be completed. Amen. 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 Your hands have been put on this plow. The one without to complete that project shall enter your hand in the heart. Amen. Your amen is looking for my trouble. Amen. Go and complete the project. Amen. What your fathers could not achieve. What your progenitors could not achieve. What you couldn't achieve in the past five years. I am giving you five months. Amen. Go and complete what you couldn't complete. Amen. The louder your amen, the quicker your manifestation. Amen. Somebody shout, my hands shall finish it. My hands shall finish it. Shout it again. My hands shall finish it. Shout it for the last time. My hands shall finish it. Holy Spirit, right now, I'm dependent on you. Show yourself so strong. In the fatigue, please stand up. Step fast. Flap your wings around. Touching every soul. Come touch us one more time.